Grade 3 Math, Lesson 40. Multiply by 8. When you multiply by 8, what you're doing is you're counting by 8s. You're adding a bunch of 8s together. This circle has 8, and this circle has 8. So we have 8 one time, two times. 8 two times, see? 8 times 2. 8 plus 8. 8 in here plus 8 in here is the same thing. 8 times 2 is 16. That's what 8 plus 8 is. Let's look at this one. 8 times 3 is like saying you have an 8 three times. 1, 2, 3. It's the same thing as 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 plus 8 plus 8, whoops, is 24. Where did that come from? Okay, so what happens if you have a really big number like this and you don't remember what the answer is? Like 8 times 9. Okay, that means you have an 8 nine times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See? There's 8 inside of each circle, and there's 9 circles. Well, what you can do is break this 9 into smaller numbers. 5 plus 4 is 9, so we can say 8 times 5 plus 8 times 4. 8 times 5 added to 8 times 4 is going to be the same thing as 8 times 9. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 4 is 32. If we add them together, that means 8 times 9 is 72. And that's correct, it is 72. See? So sometimes when you're stuck with a really big times table problem, try breaking one of the big numbers into pieces. You could do 8 times 7 that way. You can break the 7 into a 3 plus a 4, see? And say 8 times 3 plus 8 times 4 and then add that together, okay? So let's look at the 8 times table. Starting with 0, of course, the answers are 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, and 96. And when we skip count, we start at the zero, and we jump to eight, because that's what we're counting by. And what would be the next one we would jump to? What comes after the eight? 16, and then 24. So we jump to 16, and then 24, and then what comes? 32. And if I could keep going, we could do them all, couldn't we? But I don't have enough room. So you can see how it skip counts 8, 16, 24, 32. The next one would have been 40 if I had room. So remember to try to memorize your times table because that's going to help you do your math. And if you can get flashcards like these or make your own from index cards so that you can quiz yourself. See, these even have answers on them. When you turn it over, like this one, 5 times 3, when you turn it over, see how it's got the answer in the corner up in there? And then on this side it says 10 times 2, and it's got the answer to the 10 times 2 up in that corner. So they come in a pack, in a box. You know, it doesn't matter what brand you get. This is the brand I got. And you can quiz yourself, or someone can quiz you, and you'll get really, really good at it, and you'll get really fast at it. So keep up the good work. And we'll see you next time.